Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Words of Pearls. My name is Florence Chichangajita, and uh, I, you can, I can be found on my YouTube channel as Flo Changajita. Uh, tonight, this evening, I'm here to talk to you about the pricelessness of silence. And I'm not talking about be si being silent when you know, you're being abused, if you're in an abusive relationship, or if you're being groomed, or if you're being trafficked, you know, none of that. But there are times when we need to exercise the virtue of silence. And so I wanted to share that with you. Proverbs 17 and 28 said, reads, even fools are considered wise when they are silent. Even fools are considered to be wise when they are silent. With their mouths shut, they seem intelligent. You know, you can be seated among intellects and the only way to, to tell if you are or not is just by opening your mouth. Um, but what I wanted to share is um, today is in being silent. So moments when one should be silent, right? Has someone ever come to you and told you a story, told you something? You're not sure of what happened, but you start to give your opinion. You start to condemn the other person without knowing the full story. That is one time when you should remain silent because if you don't know the entire story, um, you know, it's not wise. It's good to listen. We have two ears to listen before yielding an opinion. The other time is when we're emotional. You know, sometimes we're overly excited. Sometimes we're overly, we're very angry. And so we have to watch what we're saying when we're in anger so we don't have regrets or overly excited. Sometimes when people are overly excited or inhebriated, they make promises, you know, that they know they can't fulfill. At the moment, they believe they could, but later, in you know, when reality sets in after the alcohol or whatever is worn off, then they're like, wait, what did I say? Why did I say that? Or if they're reminded of it, they're like, you know, sometimes folks don't want to admit take the accountability to say, you know what? I really said that because I was inebriated. I really said that because, you know, I was very angry. And so, you know, I'm sorry, I apologize. Sometimes that's all it takes, but sometimes, you know, so the way to avoid that is just be silent. Uh, be silent also when your words are going to offend others. Some folks can say things, I've been in rooms where I've heard folks say things to other people, and I wondered why. You may be thinking it, but why? Why is that thought really crossing your mind? And then you utter it, right? So that's another time just to think about because sometimes uh, culturally, sometimes we're not aware whether our words will offend someone or not, but the way to be on the safe side, just say nothing, right? And if you're asked to speak, that's different. And then, you know, you can even ask, is so-and-so appropriate to, to say, you know, right? And the other time to be silent is when you know your words will destroy friendships or relationships or people's lives. Sometimes out of vindictiveness, sometimes out of anger, folks say things about other people that knowing if the wrong person hears it, it can ruin lives. Or sometimes it may be a truth, but said in the wrong forum, lying, right? You wouldn't be in a court setting or at the precinct talking about your cousin who stole something, not saying that it is right or that you should defend the person. But I'm saying that as an example that there are times like maybe someone is uh, trying to get a job and maybe 
at one point they had messed up, but now they're 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 on good track with their lives. I've made no and I've not repeated the same mistake. I've not done the same thing in years. And they may be at a, a corporate meeting or a, a, a year end reception and you're invited to it and there you are talking about, you know, and then others, you never know who's there. That might that might have been the ammunition they needed to get rid of um, your loved ones or friends, you know, so be silent if you know your words will destroy friendships, relationships, or lives. Also be silent if you can't talk without yelling. You know, some folks uh, have their octaves are I, the inflection in their voice is, you know, read. There are some folks that when they speak, it always seems as if they're arguing, even though they're not. And so once that person gets loud, that is definitely going to seem like it's a, you know, you're in a combative situation. And some folks can take it as that. And then others sometimes retaliate to that. Now, understanding sometimes others will jump in thinking that you are absolutely trying to um, be combative with the person you're speaking to and that person might be their loved one, right? And so um, it also will incite others and allow you to, the point you were trying to make can totally be missed or overlooked or rejected simply because of the yelling. So that's one time to be silent. Maybe you have that conversation when you're less angry or you're less hyped or you're less over-enthusiastic. Um, also, and I'll say a final one, be silent about your plans and your goals. Why? There are those who at times will try to sabotage you. Sometimes you have to, you have your plans and your goals, you do them and you do them secretly. And the Bible says the things you pray over and do secretly will be openly rewarded. And so, um, you know, if you know there are folks on the job and you know that your boss said, hey, work on this project and did not announce it to others, then don't tell others that you're working on this special project. Just do the project and give God thanks. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, it will be revealed. So those are moments when you should exercise the virtue of silence. And I do pray that this blesses you. So have yourself a wonderful rest of the weekend. Know that I love you. And God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit loves all of us so much more. May the virtue of silence reign in your life at the right time. And as I said before, if you're trafficked, if you're abused, if you're misused, do not remain silent under those circumstances. However, in order to protect others and other and your livelihood, exercise the virtue of silence to benefit to the benefit of yourself and others. Have a good night. Know that God loves you so much more than anyone else can or does.